Your name is called Emmanuel. Your name is called Ebushata. Emmanuel. Your name is called Ebushata. Sekita Emmanuel. Heavenly Father God, I bless your name today. I magnify your name. It's shame to days I worship you, Lord. I exalt your holy name. I thank you, Lord, for this moment, Lord, as I speak your word, Lord, speak through me, O God. Let the power of the Holy Spirit take control, O God, and let every life that hear your word be touched, be blessed, O God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Have your way, O God, in today's teaching, in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God bless you, everyone watching me out there. Praise the Lord. By the grace of God, my name is Pastor Mrs. Precious Sylvester Sende Unieze. Or you can as well call me by my stage name, Perceive. Amen. Today I'm going to be talking about a topic I titled, Let God Decide. Let God Decide. Hallelujah. Let's go to the book of Proverbs. Proverbs chapter 3. I read from verse 3 to 6. He said, Kalava Sende. Trust in the Lord with all the heart, and lean not unto thy own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. Be not wise in thy own eyes, fear the Lord, and depart from evil. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I just, I just took it to verse 7. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You see, God, God is the is a maker of heaven and earth. Hallelujah. He's the maker of all things. Praise the Lord. So in that case, when we are making decisions, when we are making decisions about any areas of our life, we need to let God decide. I think I've talked about this topic like this before i some i've thought about something like this before i think i, I it was titled the weed of god hallelujah so i'm still bringing more bringing out more teachings about this letting god decide letting god decide over the affairs of our life let god decide because when god decide for us as a best it's the best decision ever when God decides for you because God doesn't make mistake. God doesn't make mistake. When He decides for you, you will be happy at the end of it. So many people decide to decide for themselves, and today they are regretting. Some of them have no more because they, they decide to de decide for themselves. God might be speaking to them that that way you are going, you are going to, you are going to lose your life, you are going to lose your properties. But they decide to follow their mind, and in the end, some of them are regretting, some of them are crying, some of them are no more because they chose the right path. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. There are some people that in the morning they want to step out of the house, and God is saying no. But maybe because they, they, they are just carried away with the money they are going to make from that business, from that appointment, and they just decide to. To, uh, to to ignore the, the voice of God and they went out and never came back. Praise the Lord. So, as a, 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 as a human being, we should let God decide because God is the, is the creator of the heaven and the earth, both the, the, the human and non-human. God created us all. So, when it comes to making decisions about any affairs of our life, we should let God decide. Hallelujah. Because He is God. He controls everything. Praise the Lord. So, when we are saying we are living as God's creations, we have to live the way God wants us to live. 
We are to decide the way God wants us to decide. We are to plan the way God wants us to plan. Hallelujah. We are to make decisions the way God wants us to make decisions. We are to speak. We are to speak the way God wants us to speak. Hallelujah. We are to dress the way God wants us to dress. Hallelujah. When we are, when you say we are the creatures of God, we should live the way God wants us to live, not the other way around. Praise the Lord. That is obedience. Hallelujah. God is the author and the finisher of our faith. So whatever we do in planet Earth should depend on the plan of God for our life. It should depend on what God said about it. When you know you are doing something, it's not in line with what God says. It's good. We should desist from it. Hallelujah. Let God decide what you do. Hallelujah. There's a difference between... You, you feel like eating this food and this is what you have appetite for now, we know that. But there are certain areas of your life that you want to make decision, whether by marriage or, or uh, a, a decision that will, that will last for a lifetime, a, a decision that you know that is not in line with the word of God, you should let God decide. Hallelujah. No matter how difficult it may seem like, God will never lead you astray. Human being can lead you astray, but God knows the best for you. So when he's making decisions for you, when he's speaking to you, learn to listen to the voice of God so that you won't regret it. This is another thing that, that, that this is another reason why we need to know the voice of God, because some people, God might be speaking to them, they don't know that it is God that is speaking to them. So it is good that we should learn to know the voice of God, and we should pray that God should help us to, to, to obey His voice when He speaks to us. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. So, I want us to go to the book of Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11 he said for i know the thought that i think toward thee said the lord thought of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end this is god speaking i know the thoughts that i think toward you said the lord thought of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end god knows the best for us God know the best for us, and He know the end of it all. We are going to rejoice. We are going to be happy. So nobody wants anything that will, that will bring tears, that will bring pain to His or her life. So what do we do? We follow the way of the Lord. No matter what comes our way, we must surely come out of it because we are obeying God, and God is with us. Praise the Lord. So. We shouldn't look at what if, what people say, what about the pain, what about the time, what about the energy. When God just says do, you do. So many people obey God when God says do this thing and they did it. Example is Noah. God told Noah to build a, a, an ark. I always uh, uh, preach about this very uh, uh, place in the Bible. People were mocking him, but he knew what God said he should do. And he obeyed. He didn't look at people. Hallelujah. He didn't look at anyone. He just do. That is how to know an obedient child of God. Just do. Don't say what if this. Some people want to, they want to skip what God is telling them to do. They will be, they will be giving you, they will be giving conditions. What about this? What if this? Follow what God is telling you. Sometimes some people heard it clear that God is speaking to them, but they will be giving conditions. Some people, a prophet, God might use a man of God, a prophet of God to speak to some people, yet they want to follow their mind. It's very wrong. Because that mind is going to cost you pain. 
You might think you are doing the right thing. The Bible says, it says say there is a way that seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof is destruction. Hallelujah. So many people are suffering today because of wrong decisions that they have made. They were wrong. God spoke to them. God spoke to them in a dream. God used men of God to, spoke to, uh, to speak to them. Hallelujah. But they refused to listen. They say they want to follow their mind because they feel it is faster or maybe it is sweeter. And you know, this flesh, it, it might seem like it's really sweet. And at the end, they end up being in pain. Sometimes I feel for men and women of God praying repeated prayers over and over again because of a wrong decision someone made, because somebody refused. So listen to the voice of God and obey it, then they just keep on repeating what they have been doing over and over again. Why not just make up your mind? Let God decide for you, not you following your mind. Because at the end, you are the one that is going to, to be happy. You are the one that is going to, to benefit from it. God just loves us. He just wants us to be happy and He wants the best for us. He wants to help us. So, we should learn to listen to God when God is speaking to us. When God decides for us, He makes things easy. He makes things easier for us. Hallelujah. We won't make mistakes because God doesn't make mistakes. Praise the Lord. He knoweth and he seeth all things. Before we were made in our mother's womb, God knows, God actually knows what we are going to become. So that is why we should listen because what God has seen about us, we don't even know. There I am today, I didn't know I'm going to be preaching the gospel. I didn't know. God just led me from stage to stages and led, led me through mistakes. I made mistakes and God was just guiding me. And sometimes when I think back where I'm coming from, I say, God, you are so faithful. You are so good. I just remember so many sharp corners that would have destroyed me. Hallelujah. And then I was just using my mind. Thank God for the grace of God. And God just kept protecting because he knew where he was taking me to. Hallelujah. And I thank God I didn't miss it and I'm here today. So if we actually know how to follow God and listen to God, we won't make any mistake. Because those mistakes I'm talking about now, I actually heard most time God speaking to me. I actually heard. Because... I just feel I want to do things my own way. God still loves me. I was taking the grace of God for granted. Hallelujah. But if I have learned to really listen and pay attention to what God was telling me, I won't end up making any mistake. It's not a good, to, a good thing to be proud about making mistakes. It's not a good thing to, to, be, pr uh, to be proud of, uh, uh, you know, something that you would have done and it came out well and you just ended up messing it up because you refuse to do it the right way. You refuse to listen to, to, to the voice of God. It's not a good thing. So to avoid all those things, the best thing is to listen to God and it makes life easier for us. We are not saying we are not going to uh, pass through any kind of trials, but we can avoid some of these things when we learn to let God decide, when we learn to let God make decisions for us, Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So, the best decision we will ever make is making up our mind to let God decide over the affairs of our life. So many people are suffering today because they decide to follow their mind instead of the mind of God. We should learn to ask God always. Ask Him always, God, this thing I'm going to do, what? Are you saying about it? That is the life I live. What are you saying about it? That when God gives me a sign that this is not right, this is how it's going to be like, I just 
step out of it. Hallelujah. When I'm going to a place, I ask God, how is this place going to be like? You know, God speaks to us. People don't know that. Some people don't know that God speaks. He still speaks. It's not only the people in the Bible that God spoke to. God still speaks. God, most times, show me where I'm going. Show me how it's going to be like. My daughter, relax. God still speaks. It depends on your relationship with God. Hallelujah. So, what I'm saying now is that we should learn to let God say something concerning important affairs of our life so that we shouldn't end up repeating the same wrong decision over and over again. Hallelujah. Great people in the Bible seek the face of God before making any move. They always want to hear from God. They don't, they don't use their mind. Because they believe God is their maker, is the one that is in charge of everything. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hearing from God is the best decision and we must learn to know the voice of God and obey him. So that we shouldn't come back and be asking God, God, why me? God, why me? Whereas God has spoken a long time ago. We refuse to listen. Praise the Lord. Because it is He that knows the way we should follow. And above all, God is our maker. We cannot know more than our maker. He knows everything. He has planned our life. He has planned me the way He wants it to be. So we trying to bend it, we are complicating issues. That is why you see most people, they end up living a confused life. Some people don't, some people don't even know where they are going, they don't know where they are coming from. Even if you have not reached that position that God has destined you to be, but there is nothing as you know where you are going. You know what God is saying concerning that issues of your life. Hallelujah. So, you just keep waiting on God. But there are people that don't even know where they are going to. They don't know what God is saying. They don't know how tomorrow will be. They are just living. That is the worst thing that can ever happen to anybody. Hallelujah. Though it might not be easy, when you are trying to let God decide for you, but God will always make a way in his own time. Praise the Lord. Let us open to the book of Psalm 119. Psalm 119, I read from verse 105. Hallelujah. Say, thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. The word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Hallelujah. When we let the word of God lead us, it becomes a light unto our path. Hallelujah. That is a lie that we will follow. Praise the Lord. Not our own word. Amen. I pray God helps someone to understand it today. Praise the Lord. So by the grace of God, I'm going to end this teaching here today. By the grace of God, I'll see you in my next video. And by the grace of God, I remain Pastor Mrs. Precious Sylvester Osayende Onyeze. Or you can as well call me by my stage name, Precious. God bless you. Shabbat. Hallelujah.